Despite this huge military campaign, the war in Yemen has basically been a stalemate for the last six years. It's morphed into what has become an extremely intractable civil war. Car bombs, airstrikes and shelling have become part of Yemeni's daily lives. Houthi rebels, backed by Iran, control most of the population there. The Yemeni government, which is helped by a Saudi-led coalition, has been carrying out a bombing campaign in support of the internationally recognised government. When we talk about the way the country is divided at the moment, there's basically three major zones of influence. There's the Houthis who control North Yemen. That's where 70% of the population live. There's the Yemeni government, which controls some areas of South Yemen. And then there's a separatist movement that sprung up during the civil war. It wants independence for South Yemen. So what we're looking at at the moment is basically three wars in one. Unfortunately, the stalemate that we've seen for so long appears to be shifting now in 2021. And it's not for the better, it's for the worse. There is a central province in Yemen called Marib, which is rich in oil and gas. It's under the control of the Yemeni government, but the Houthis have launched a huge campaign to try and take the area because it has these resources. This has been one of the worst, one of the bloodiest battles in the whole war to date. And if Marib falls, the Yemeni government's last stronghold will fall. We're talking about a country where three quarters of the population of 28 million people are already dependent on aid to survive. Infant mortality and maternal mortality rates have already increased in some places by 55% in the last year. More than three million people have already had to flee their homes and it only takes a very small change in circumstances to then take that huge number of people into full-blown famine, into a situation that cannot be fixed. The Houthis have a very particular worldview and what they want is theocratic states. They are deeply opposed to other ethnic groups and other forms of Islam and they have persecuted anybody who doesn't believe in the same things that they do in the years that they've been in control of the capital. Now, Yemen's Houthi rebels say they've launched their biggest ever military operation against Saudi Arabia. Eight drones and three ballistic missiles have been fired towards Saudi Arabia since Monday. From North Yemen, it's been proving very easy, actually, to, to launch attacks on Saudi infrastructure inside the kingdom. Usually the Houthis claim these attacks themselves, but there is a lot of evidence that says that it could possibly be Iran doing it too and, and using Yemen and Yemeni forces as, as a base. It was supposed to be a three-week bombing campaign on the capital, Sana'a, and on other Houthi strongholds across Yemen to completely annihilate the rebels and remove this Iranian-backed threat on their border. The Saudis have been repeatedly criticised by human rights groups and by war monitors for deliberately attacking civilian infrastructure, or not doing enough due diligence to ensure that civilians are not harmed in the, in the bombing raids. As Western governments, we are complicit in it. We are providing one side with both material and, and political support. I don't think it's possible to overestimate the impact that the war is going to have on Yemen for generations to come. The damage is absolutely devastating. The Saudis have actually been holding secret talks with the Houthi leadership since at least 2019. You know, they, they are looking for an exit strategy. We are ready to go today. We hope that we can have a, a, a ceasefire immediately but the onus is on the Houthis, they have to decide. Unfortunately, for people on the ground, that doesn't mean that the war or their suffering is going to end anytime soon. The Houthis think that they're going to win in Marib, and they know that if they do that, then they will be able to basically call the shots in future negotiations. There doesn't really seem to be any will from the Houthi side at the moment to actually try and find a peaceful solution to the war.